Mr. Nehru was an anathema. Everything that Mr. Nehru stood for yes. was an antithesis to everything that okay. the BJP believed your, your 15 in. And seconds therefore, is done. it is a political your issue. Your 15 you seconds is done. That everything that the BJP, and the BJP stood and the for BJP is, the... is deliberately political on the subject. Okay, I, I, I've run out of time. I just want to get 15 seconds from you, Nalin Kohli. Is the, B, is the BJP also willing to reach out and celebrate Nehru in the manner that you celebrated Patel? Or are we going to create division between a Patel and a Nehru? Well, perhaps you might want to just uh, play back a show, yeah. the report that has come in probably the Indian Express today, yes. where even Ghulam Nabi Azad and others attended the meeting where the Prime Minister spoke on the subject. If people don't read papers, I can't be held responsible for that. Okay. Mrs. Sonia Gandhi resigned from the panel herself. The Congress representative is there. And taking off from what Mr. Jha said, thank you, no pussy footing. Perhaps it's time that we don't see a joker like Mr. Rahul Gandhi enunciate such views. No, 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 no you have called him a joker. They are calling the Prime Minister. I mean, Prime Minister, I mean, Minister, I mean, Minister, 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 Okay, let's let's just I even let's pull it. I'm, I'm switching it off because I don't think Jawaharlal Nehru would, would have ever Shame used the kind of language today that I have seen on this program I, by our politicians. That's it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much, Mithula Mukherjee. I'm going to give my take. It would be a real pity if Nehru's legacy is caught in a Congress BJP tug of war. Nehru belongs to India, not to any political party. The BJP should avoid undermining Nehru's legacy. The Congress should not monopolize it. Let's restore Nehru with true greatness in his sesquicentennial year. That's right. Don't monopolize it. Let's restore Nehru to his true greatness in his sesquicentennial year. Let me now turn to another big story tonight. A major victory for India and its food security program, or so the government says. Washington and New Delhi have resolved crucial differences at the World Trade Organization that had threatened the entire WTO talks. The two countries claim to have sorted out all issues pertaining to the contentious issue of food stockpiling and food subsidies, paving the way for a trade facilitation agreement. At the heart of the breakthrough, a peace clause crucial for uninterrupted implementation of India's food security program. Let me go straight across to the minister who has announced that today, Nirmala Sitaraman joining me now, the Commerce Minister of the country. Appreciate your joining us, ma'am. You're our newsmaker tonight. I want to know, have you conceded more to the Americans than you are claiming at the moment when this agreement was done? Is there something that you've conceded or do you believe this is win-win for India? It's absolutely a win-win for India. We Did have stated our position from 2nd July. Mm -hmm. Within a month after the new government came to power, we have made sure that in the PREPCOM meetings of the WTO, the position of this new government that the Bali agreement had an imperfection in it mm -hmm. and to that extent a course correction had to take place was explained and therefore mm -hmm. standing on those very uh, points that we have articulated then mm -hmm. we have been engaging with all governments mm -hmm. uh, which have uh, you know sent representatives spoken to us and so on and the high point of this whole thing was when the Prime Minister met Ms. President Obama. Mm -hmm. Issues related to uh, WTO were definitely uh, discussed. And following it up, we have uh, explained our position to uh, most of the trade representatives who have met us. And has, today has the we are US appreciated our position? That, Sorry, ma'am. Has the US accepted absolutely. our position or have we had to also make certain concessions? No, there is, I mean, uh, what is the concession? First of all, what we are saying is today that the U.S. has appreciated, understood and is able to see the argument that we have placed before mm -hmm. uh, the WTO as regards what we accept, uh, expect in uh, food security related matters. And therefore, mm -hmm. that position being appreciated is a, a win-win for everybody. Because some experts feel, ma'am, that this deal with the U.S. has merely postponed the entire issue, particularly the livelihood of 600 million farmers. Just ahead of the G20, India wanted to appear conciliatory. This has been done to pave the ground that India not be seen at the G20, where the Prime Minister goes to Brisbane tomorrow as some kind of a roadblock to a WTO deal. Has it been done as a political deal 
or is there something is this going to be a permanent arrangement it's strange because mm -hmm. there is no agreement but there is definitely an understanding and appreciation of each other's position mm -hmm. our position has been that we are we are committed to trade facilitation mm -hmm. we are not doing anything that which distorts trade by holding publicly stock of food grains mm -hmm. our position that food grain uh, distribution is meant for the poor we procure it from pure poor farmers at a particular administered price and then we use it for public distribution system has been repeatedly uh, um, explained and that it is not trade distorting has been very clearly narrated now what are we saying at this moment mm -hmm. that the us has appreciated and understood mm -hmm. that this is a uh, this is a proposal where we are very clearly saying we cannot be waiting till 2017 for a permanent solution we are willing to work hard okay. to have a permanent solution at the earliest whether it is this year middle of this year december this year next year whenever we are willing to work hard for it okay but if for some reason by 2017 we do not have a conclusion of a permanent solution mm -hmm. we shouldn't be dragged into litigation so at least what we want is an assurance that there will be a peace clause which will be running for perpetuity but we are also keen on getting a permanent solution we okay. cannot have it tied up to 2017 and that has been very clearly understood okay so i'm going to treat it as a important step ahead you've taken i'm not going to say win win as you are but i think it is an important step forward so you deserve in that sense uh, commendations for having taken that important step ahead of the G20 summit nirmala sitaraman as always a pleasure talking to you thank you very much for joining us as our newsmaker tonight